Hello guys, uh, this is the self-defense techniques for the second month of the current testing cycle. Um, we are going to demonstrate each technique twice, one time at by count and one time at speed. And if you have any questions, of course, at the end of the video, please give me a call or get in contact with me through Facebook. So the first technique that we're starting with is the back trip. So both of us are in a, in a guard stance. Megan does a step through swinging punch. I want to duck, step with my rear leg, capturing around her waist. I'm gonna get into a gable grip and I'm gonna use put my head up against her back, pulling her backwards down and over my knee. So the, the knee that I had up needs to go to the ground. We're gonna do that one more time from this side. So again, she steps in with a punch, I duck, underneath the punch, step through with my right foot, drop my left knee to the ground, wrap around the waist, and pull down to here. So both knees again hit the floor. All right, we'll do it from this side at speed. Okay, when you're ready. Right here, good. All right, the next technique that we're going to do is draw bridge. Okay, draw bridge is a single arm or as a single hand grab to your collar. So if Megan comes up and grabs with her left hand, I want to capture, with, or with her right hand rather, I want to capture with my left. If she grabs on the opposite side, so I'm matching my opponent. Let's do it from this side, okay? So she's gonna grab with her left hand, or right hand rather, I grab back with my left. Right foot moves as I bring my right inward block to either the bicep or the collarbone, okay, either one. So this is a strike, this is a forearm strike. Step behind, take them down, knee to the hip, punch to the face, okay? One time at speed. Okay. okay. And the next technique, this is uh, the facial takedown. Uh, we sometimes call this the spider web. So again, this is against a straight punch. As she throws her punch, I step drag to the outside, hand comes up, grabs the face. As my hand comes up, my right foot steps behind her leg, taking her down and knee to the hip and punch to the face again. We'll do this one time from the other side. So again, she stepped through, I step drag, palm block, facial grab at the same time, so hands move together. Right foot then comes up, step, take her down, and punch, okay? Uh, one note on that. When we do this technique, we're going to think of that step as an ax kick behind their leg. So as I step up, I go one, two, three, taking that person down to the ground and then punch, okay? All right. The next technique is a wrist lock. This is against the cross wrist grab. So from here, I want to make the upside down V and then invert it so that I'm catching her wrist between my thumb and fingers, squeezing the hand. Other hand comes up over the top, thumb is down, squeezing the pinky and thumb together and pointing the hand back at my partner. As I point the hand back at my partner, I wanna press so that her elbow goes in towards her rib cage. From this point, I'm gonna twist the wrist as I step back with my left foot, taking my partner to the ground. All right, let's do that from this side. So again, cross wrist grab, one, two, counter grab. Now, if they refuse to let go, lift higher, all right? At the same time, your other hand's gonna come up over the top, one, two, Point back, okay? Step back, drop, knee to the hip, and punch to the face, okay? Next wrist grab, or next is an arm bar wrist grab. So as she, again, it's a cross wrist grab. I want to wave goodbye, basically, breaking the hold and counter grab. From here, I step through with a forearm strike to either the elbow or into the tricep muscle. So as I step through with my left foot, I now want to, I want to change direction and sweep that leg, the back leg, out. So she falls down, 
step up, and I can finish it in any number of ways, punch to the face, of course, being the most common. Okay, so one more time on that one, we'll do it from this side. Counter grab, step through, forearm, sweep, okay, and then punch to the face. The last technique is our double leg trip. Uh, you can do this inside and outside, but we're gonna stick with just the uh, outside of the leg trip today. So we're both into a guard stance here. The first thing I wanna remember is this is, a, this is a snap takedown. It's a very quick takedown. So we're not gonna have the attacker do anything right now. Front knee goes to the ground. I wanna think of this as a lunge. Okay, so as I move towards my partner, front knee goes to the ground, my trailing leg comes up as I place my shoulder on my opponent's hip and my head on the outside of their hip. So the trailing leg comes up, wraps, and I press my partner to the ground. There's really no follow up on this. I mean, we could we're gonna take this in the next cycle and uh, change positions on our partner, but for right now, this is just the bones of the technique. So again, she's not doing anything. I want to press with my back foot. Knee goes to the ground, lead knee. One, two. I've got a hand on back, the back of each of her knees. Trailing leg comes up, hook it, and press using your shoulder and your head. One note on that. Stay as close to your partner as you can because you want to lock the leg out between the her or when my leg is locked around their ankle, if I create space in my upper body on the takedown, let's demonstrate, if I create space like this, one, two, and I go to here without pressing, then what's gonna happen is this knee's gonna bend and you're gonna take it in the chest. So from here, I wanna go here. You can see how it keeps that knee nice and straight, okay? All right, that's all the techniques for the second month of our cycle. We will bring up another video, probably in a week or so, uh, of all the current techniques in the cycle, uh, in the third month. So if anybody, again, has any questions, please give me a call at the studio. Uh, you know the number, 570-332-4377, or drop me a message through the studio Facebook page. Thank you very much, and thank you, Megan, for your help, and thanks, Nick, for your photography. Thank you.